Aloha, Howley Norm here at Pele Rocks, uh, the homestead that I've got on the Big Island in the Puna District. Well, my last video was my introductory video. Today is going to be harvesting a jackfruit, but you know, I, I'm wearing that Howley badge real proud. Uh, Howley is uh, basically foreigner, so I'm not from around here, and uh, I'm holding it real good. I, I tried to do a couple Hawaiian words in my last video, and uh, well, I never went to school for it, but being schooled now, one of my uh, good friends that I'm going to be talking about later in the video sent me a message that uh, I... Uh, I used the wrong reference on the wrong letters. <laughs> yeah, so that's what Hallies do. Never try to talk pigeon when you first get here. Yeah, that's a sign of a sure Hallie. So I've been here 11 years now, and uh, what I messed up on was not Mele Kliki Maka, you know, Merry Christmas. I didn't mess that one up. And I, I know the difference between Leaky Leaky Highway and Like Like. <laughs> so... But uh, Oahu, that, that got tongue twisted last time. Uh, that's where Honolulu and uh, Waikiki is, is on the island of Oahu. But what I messed up on really poorly was, or really good mess up, was the uh, Ekomo Maihale. I, I used the E instead of the A. It's E como my hale. Welcome to my home. And uh, in a short time here, we're going to walk up to my little orchard. And I got a four-year-old jackfruit. Eh, maybe five years old. Pretty close. It was the first tree I planted. And uh, I'll be telling about that story here in a couple of minutes. So just hang on and I'll walk on up there. So getting ready to come into the orchard now. And... There's the jackfruit over here. That's what we're going to try to harvest today. And there she is, right there. So, I brought a couple things with me. Brought a machete, some paper, some clips, and we're going to go ahead and give this a try, but First off, a lot of you know that I got a special measuring device here. So, uh, it's my lighter. That's about how big it is. So this was harvested from a seed from a plant across the street. The neighbor uh, had a few plants and they were they were doing good and they were ready to harvest so He allowed uh, Some people that were helping me build my place to get it and they local girl Heather so Heather called her mom her mom came over We cut it down. We harvested it in my yard and uh the first pod that I ever ate, uh, the seed was viable. It was already starting to have root on it. So I, I went ahead and planted it. And uh, I hope I can throw in a couple of still shots of it while it's growing. But for now, I'm going to have to reach over and see if I can drop this. I'll just pause and cut it.
So I've got to cut down off the tree. I tried to save as much of the new growth as I could. So maybe I'll get some fruit off of those next year. But uh, I'm just going to whack this with a machete and see if I can cut it in half. And uh, of course, you know, without no tripod, I'm just going to have to just be one of those things. It might cut through, it might not. Well, I guess that's one stroke and then I'll, uh, I'll come back after I get it all cut. Okay, so what I did is I got that one slit in it and then I rocked my knife back and forth, went around the back side of it, tried to do the same place, and then I was able to split it right down the center. So, see if I can zoom in here on a piece that might be, that's basically the fruit right there. And supposedly, if you can get a hold of it, uh, that's the part you would eat right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up to the house now, wash it up, saw some fire ants, and uh, then go ahead and see what type of fruit I'm going to get out of it. I might be calling Heather's mom and telling her, hey, come over and get the seeds, because she roasts them. And then, uh, I don't know, eat them after they're roasted? I'm not sure how that goes. Maybe that'll be a whole nother video. Okay, so there's the harvest of the jackfruit, and we'll see if we can sample it here in a minute. Okay, as I was saying, uh, the, uh, the pods are what you eat. That part there. And that would have one of these seeds in it. So the, the brighter yellow, this up here, there's one there and one there, there. So there's not a whole lot, but I, I sliced off a chunk off of one end. And uh, I'm going to see uh, how it tastes. It's, it's a little fruity smelling. Uh, I did, I, I'll admit, I... I ate a little piece, that's the rind, but I ate a little piece of this a minute ago. And uh, it's pretty tasty. So, we'll be back at it. Now I'm going to taste some more. Okay, that took a little bit of time, but I got half of it cut up. The other half put in the fridge. And I got this bowl full. It's a couple deep, I think. Yeah, a couple deep. A couple of seeds that popped out on those ones I cut. And then down here, this is four of them that I haven't taken off the last piece of rind. And that's all the rind. So, uh, it's a little chewy, but it, it's, it's flavorful. It's uh, a fruit that you're going to have to acquire a taste for, I guess. Either that or have real good strong teeth because it's a little chewy. So I will see what type of comments I can make about it afterwards. But uh, once again, thank you Heather and Rei Jing for harvesting the first one that uh, made it possible for this large, I have no idea how many pound harvest, but yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'll okay, so... I'm going to try to wrap up this video now on uh, my jackfruit harvest. But I uh, did a quick internet search. There's a lot of information out there for those of you that are still interested. And uh, for those of you that want to taste it, well, there's still opportunity. 
you can't get none of mine, but uh, you get none of mine, but there's there's opportunity. Even if you don't live in Florida or some other area that's got uh, tropical weather, uh, you can go to an Asian market. And, you know, at the right time of the year, you can get them, but they're going to be spendy. You know, they, they got to pay for that transporting. But uh, I'm going to throw a little uh, still clip at the end of this. I, I found out you can actually supposedly, not only Amazon, but Walmart. Yes, Walmart carries jackfruit in a can. So I'll leave a little clip at the end. I don't know if that's going to be as good as the, the fresh stuff, but uh, for those of you that are interested. Okay, aloha. Everybody be safe. Have a nice holiday season.